CBS 2's Christine Lazar has reaction to today's unprecedented events from the LA Times and a journalism professor who covered the White House. This is a photo snapped by an LA Times reporter just after he was told he couldn't come in to press Secretary Sean Spicer's office for an informal press briefing. The New York Times and CNN were also kept out. I think that it's uh, and a fairly early battle in what is going to be a war. Richard Reeves is a professor at USC Annenberg School for Journalism and a former New York Times White House correspondent. He was there for Nixon's presidency and the Watergate scandal. Yeah, Nixon hated the press most of the time, uh, but he understood their role in a democracy. The LA Times released a statement today about being shut out. It says in part, the public has a right to know, and that means being informed by a variety of news sources, not just those filtered by the White House press office in hopes of getting friendly coverage. Regardless of access, the Times will continue to report on the Trump administration without fear or favor. The dishonest media. The move comes on the heels of President Trump calling fake news the enemy of the public and saying that journalists shouldn't be allowed to use anonymous sources. On social media, one critic wrote, you know who else blocks the media? Putin, just saying, hashtag resist. But there were those who defended the move. One person tweeted, dear CNN, New York Times, LA Times, and Politico, this is what happens when you report fake news all day. CBS was allowed into the briefing. The CBS reporter was the pool reporter, and that means they convey whatever happened to anyone who wasn't there. In downtown LA, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.